Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Allah the Almighty the creator of the heavens and earth the only one worthy of worship has legislated for us to worship him and him alone this is the purpose of our life here the purpose of our life in this world is not that we eat the best meals it's not that we drive the nicest cars it's not that we wear the nicest clothing it is not that we have the uh, the biggest homes however it is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you have acquired that wealth to use it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship him and him alone Allah says in the Quran Allah says what means that I've uh, not created mankind and the jinn the jinn meaning the spirit world except for the purpose of worshiping me that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with a divine purpose that our purpose in this life is to worship our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and none other no one with him no one besides him we don't worship the angels we don't worship the spirits the jinn we don't worship uh, the dead nor do we worship the living we don't worship the statues, inanimate objects. We don't worship cows. We don't worship horses. We don't worship anything. But we only worship the creator of all those things. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't worship the prophets, alayhi matta salatu salam. We don't worship Adam, alayhi salatu salam. We don't worship Moses, alayhi salatu salam. We don't worship uh, Ibrahim, alayhi salatu salam. We don't worship Jesus, alayhi salatu salam. We don't worship Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We don't worship any of the prophets. We love all of them. So this brings up the point, why is it that from amongst the Muslims, in the Muslim communities almost everywhere on the earth, you'll find that the people follow the same sunnah of the people of ignorance in the time of ignorance during the Prophet Sallallahu time. When the Prophet Sallallahu came and, and Allah gave him prophethood, Alayhi Salatu Wasalam, he was dealing with pagan people people who had many idols they had over 360 uh, idols in the Kaaba in Mecca and the Prophet was sent to remove that to remove the worship of anything and anyone besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is what the purpose of the Muslim is however we have regressed as communities and digressed from the path but we have in fact many people who some of them are Muslim and some of them have left the fold of Islam plain and simple. Who say the same argument that the Mushrikeen, that the pagans said in the time of Mecca. They said, Ma That we don't worship them except that they bring us closer to Allah. Meaning that we use them, we make shafa'a. We, make inter we use them for intercession. This is what the pagans say. And if you look, and I'm, I, I bear witness to this, that if you look into many of the groups and sects that claim to be Muslim, and some of them are Muslim, but they've deviated, that you'll find that same creed, that they'll tell you, we only go to the grave and make tawaf around the grave to come closer to Allah. We only pray to the dead person in the grave to come closer to Allah. We only... Uh, make dua and supplication to Abdul Qadir Jailani or Tija, uh, Tijani or to uh, their Naqshbandi and Diobandi sheikhs. They only do that to come closer to Allah. That's what they'll tell you. The same argument, Shafa'ah. And then they will try to negate this ayah where Allah is giving us this was for the pagan Arabs, but it's am, it's general. It is, that doesn't mean that after the pagan Arabs it's permissible to commit shirk. No. The Prophet Sallallahu fought those people because they were on paganism and they fought him and they harmed him and they fought the call to Islam. The pure, pristine call to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is an, I am exhorting the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and myself to come back to the Quran and Sunnah. There is no other reason for our, our failure and our humiliation. It's because of our deeds. This is why we're being slaughtered in Syria. This is why we're being slaughtered in Iraq. This is why we're being attacked and killed in Afghanistan. This is why we're being ki killed and they won't allow Somalia to develop into a state. It's because we want Islam, 
but we're not really practicing Islam. There's no way that anyone or anything or any force could stop stop us if we're on purity and clarity. Meaning the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ without compromising that and following with, uh, in accordance with the understanding of the Sahaba. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and protect us from every kind of ill and to help the Muslims, the Muslimin everywhere to come back to their religion and protect us from Kumisu and Makru.